Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can analyze Likert scales using the different descriptive stats like the mean, median, mode, and other descriptive statistics in one table. So as you can see in this table, we have the median and mode of all the different Likert scale items. So the median is the mid value, whereas the mode is the most repeated frequent or frequent value. And then for the second table here, we have the other descriptives like the N that refers to the number of the respondents in the sample, the sum of the whole Likert scale items, the mean score or the average and the standard deviation that is how each respondent differs from the other in the agreement or disagreement levels or whatever the Likert scale is about. And the third table is about the whole descriptive stats or the most important descriptive stats combined because there is a controversy on whether to use the mean or the median or mode with regard to the analysis of Likert scale items. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you all the different techniques that you can use to come up with this table using, of course, spaces and you can do it in other uh, programs like Excel or uh, whatever you want. So to do it using spaces, we need just to open the data sample here, this questionnaire, and we need to go to analyze. So this questionnaire is about different Likert scale items that range from one to four or one to five, regardless of the scale. We need to go to analyze and then descriptive stats and then frequencies. Click frequencies and let's move all the items, the separate items together to this box as you can see here the coding or the measurement level doesn't matter it's nominal it can be even ordinal or scale it depends on the objectives of your analysis let's move it here and let's and check display frequency tables let's go to stats and choose what we want to have like measures of central tendency and measures of dispersion as far as the, the descriptive stats are concerned so for the central tendency measure i would like to have the mean the median and mode and even the sum if i want so and then for the dispersion measure i want to have the standard deviation that is how each respondent differs in, uh, from the other in terms of the agreement or disagreement levels i can even choose the percentile or quartile levels that's another thing. So I can literally choose whatever I want to have in the analysis from this box. I click continue and then click OK and let's wait for the output. So here is this table that contains the sample size, the end, the valid along with the missing values, the mean score, the median score, the mode and the standard deviation along with the sum. So to take this table and copy and paste it to Word, that would look something that is uh, difficult. So it will be messy as you can see. So what can we do to make it good or to make it look good? So to make it, uh, let's say, look good, we need to go back to spaces and I need to double click the table. This is left click. I need just to have this option and I have the pivot option. So I click the pivot option and I click transpose rows and columns. Click there and here you are. So we have the rows and columns transposed and what we can do next, just uh, just let's click somewhere or just remove this uh, box and go back to the output and let's click on it and right click and I just go to copy and then go back to Microsoft Office Word and uh, right click and then paste. So I can just keep source formatting. I need to change, for example, the font and the sum of uh, the size just you know, on Microsoft Office Word. That's really straightforward. Uh, I'll make it Times New Roman 12 according to the EPA style. And I can just, uh, uh, let's say, make the, these things in bold. So I need just to keep formatting it the way I would like to, to have it in the final version. So this is how you can combine the different placard or the different descriptives like the measures of central tendency of the mean, median and mode and measures of dispersion like the standard deviation, the variance or even the standard error in one table and how you can write the results in Microsoft Office Word. You can take whatever value. So for the mode, as I said, the most frequent value too, this means that if the Likert scale 
is coded from one strongly disagree to four strongly agree. This means that most respondents disagree with this first item. The, the second one is uh, has received, for example, neutrality. The first one, disagreement. So this is how you can interpret the mode. That is the most frequent value. The median is the midpoint. The mean is the average. As I said, the higher the mean score, the more respondents agree. The lower the mean score, the less the respondents agree. The standard deviation refers how each respondent differs from the other. Like if there is any homogeneity in terms of the agreement levels among the respondents, or there is this heterogeneity or divergence with regard to the attitudes expressed by respondents to the different Likert scale items. The sum is sometimes used for some developed or adapted Likert scales, and there are even uh, guidelines on how to interpret the sum. But uh, I don't recommend it if you don't know how to use it or if you don't have previous references to, to, to interpret it accordingly. So this is in brief how you can do it. If you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below or contact me via one of my social media. You will find that in the description box. Till then, see you in another tutorial. Bye for now.